Each time I felt I was putting it all behind me, I'd see something. Azaleas under the kitchen window. A pair of slippers that the dog had chewed. The way Angie shakes her finger at me. And you, yelling at me. And I could hear your mother. And when all come rushing back. Sounds and feelings. You remember how we'd cuddle on the sofa on Christmas Eve and she'd start singing in that off-key voice? Silent night. She could never think of that second note right. Holy night. Oh, oh. oh she loved too soon. And she never
Americans, 9 a.m. on Thursday, December 4th, and the makers of Gillette Shaving Cream will be bringing you the Buddy Burfrey's Sports Heroes Scrapbook. Today we bring you the story of a quarterback, Buck Schreiber. But first, a word from our sponsor. Buck my kidney plaster. He had nothing on Howard the Slingshot West, the third-string quarterback of USC's almost championship team of 19 off three. And there was poor legend of Buck Schreiber. Wake up, America! It's 9 a.m. on Thursday, December 4th, and the makers of Gillette Shaving Cream will be bringing you Buddy Burfrey's Sports Hero Scrapbook. Today, we bring you the story of quarterback Buck Schreiber, but first, a word from our sponsor. Buck, my kidney plaster! <laughs> But my kidney plaster. He had nothing on Howard the Slingshot West. The, the, the third string quarterback of USC's almost championship team. Sit! Turn that thing down. It's game time. Anyway, I sure hope they have this radio show on soon. Because it's my favorite program. And now, the sports legend of Buck Schreiber. Oh, I just love this show. He was a lean, shy kid from Kentucky. I was lean too, but scrappy. No one ever paid attention to him until he got a pigskin in his hand. First time he played, he was a substitute quarterback at Princeton's big game against Duke. On the third play, Buck took the snap, then faded back to the left. I'm fading, I'm fading, where's my receiver? A long left to the right, he bumped once. He bumps twice. Where's my receiver? Where's my block? Out of the ball, nowhere, Dombrowski, the pile driver, breaks his double team. Forget about my receiver. Where's my blocking? He's got bumped by the jersey. He's going down. He's yeah. left one side. It's a bomb. Oh. He found Sammy the streak. Why, Sammy? I mean, damn it, Danny. <laughs> That's a nice image you got there. A lot of practice on the packages that I deliver. Is it a telegram? No, it's a delivery for Angie. Well, who should I tell to come and get their package? No, it's a package for Angie. Well, to you, it's for Andrew. I know, as a matter of fact, I sent it. <laughs> I figured it was time that I spoke up and told her how I felt. So I'm going to mail it or something. Well, I'm sure she'll get the message. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special news bulletin. The AP Wire Services have just reported that the German offensive in Russia has been defeated. Hitler's armies have suffered heavy losses and have been driven out of Moscow by Marshal Zhukov. We will keep you updated on further developments. And now we return you to our regular programming. Oh, praise God, this terrible war is ending. Hitler's defeated! <laughs> and people become...